How's it going, everyone? Welcome back. Let's talk Cincinnati, Alabama. Cincinnati, the ultimate underdog going into the college football playoff. They're going to go up against one of, if not the most dominant team in college football over the past decade in Alabama. Cincinnati, it really feels like they don't have a chance to a lot of people, but I'll tell you what, I don't think that's the case here. This is a Cincinnati team, mind you. They lost to Georgia in the Peach Bowl last season, 6-0, or by six points. Georgia, by the way, who was the consensus number one for the majority of the year this year. Similar teams. Cincinnati bringing back a lot of those guys. A little bit better this year than last year. Alabama is a team that has beaten LSU by six points. A six-loss LSU team. A six-loss Auburn team. A six-loss Florida team. They squeaked by these teams this year. And you best believe there is a very good chance Cincinnati has a chance to win this football game. It really has been the year of the unpredictable, the year of the upset. I don't think there's a team out there you look at on paper right now and say, hey, this surefire team to win the college football playoffs. There isn't that dominant Alabama team like we've seen last year. It's like, yeah, these guys are going to steamroll everybody. It's just going to happen or that good. This year, uh, because of the COVID, because of the pandemic, the short season last year, we see a lot of these teams... Players get a return. We've talked about this in the past. A lot of teams like Cincinnati, uh, some smaller schools, if you will, that ain't the Bamas, the Ohio States, the Oklahomas of the world. A lot of these guys return for that fifth year or return for an extra year. That's an extra year of experience. It's an extra year of growth that you're working with for those players compared to, you know, again, Alabama, Georgia, you know, they're good players. They're a core piece of the team. They're juniors next last year, seniors. They're not coming back. They're going to the NFL. That's just what's going to happen. So you see things balance out a little bit better there, I think. Talk about this Cincinnati offense, how they're going to match up against Bama, though. Jerome Ford, this is a guy in three separate games this year, has 75-yard-plus rushes. This guy's an electric running back, can go take one to the house at any point in time. Cincinnati's got that dynamic. This guy can flip the game script around just like that. Then again, no, you got to consider Alabama, 86 yards per game allowed on the ground this season. You expect them to be an Alabama defense. That is going to slow the run game down. They do a good job of it. It's probably going to happen again. The thing is, we've seen this happen this year where they've slowed down opposing teams, running backs, Georgia, Texas, and other teams hold these guys to three yards per carry, and then they get destroyed through the air. That has been the kryptonite of the Alabama defensive where they have struggled to stop opposing teams through the air. And y'all, let's talk Cincinnati through the air. You got Desmond Ritter, who I think is the ultimate factor of if Cincinnati wins this game. He really is. This is a guy that sometimes he's like, look at me. Look at me, boys. Girls. Heisman winner. Right here. And a week later, he looks like he doesn't belong on the field. I Okay, I don't mean it that bad. It's not that bad. But, you know, you get it. He, he struggles. Which Desmond Ritter do you get in the big game? Now, you want to look historically this season? He's played really well in the big games. He played really well against Notre Dame. He played really well against Houston. The two biggest games of the year for Cincinnati. Desmond Ritter came out, made the throws he needed to make, and helped this team win games. I think this is a Cincinnati offense It's hard to prepare for. Right, we just brought up, you got Jerome Ford, good running back. You got Ritter, athletic quarterback. But they like to run some run pass or read pass option here in Cincinnati. And... It's a nightmare. It really is because you got a couple athletic tight ends that are more than capable going out there and making some plays for Cincinnati. You see these guys try to run that read pass option. The quarterback can run the football. You get the running back. And these tight ends squeaking outside out there on the flats. They can move the football. I think Cincinnati can keep up with this Alabama offense. I think they can do it pretty easily, really. I think they got all the firepower in the world to do it. It's the question, again, do we get that out of Ritter if that run game struggles, which it very well could against this Alabama defense. Can Ritter go out there and make the plays that he needs to make? Which leaves us with Bryce Young, leading Heisman candidate, going up against this Cincinnati Bearcats defense that has been oh so dominant this season. This Cincinnati Bearcats defense that has, without question, I'd say the best cornerback duo in all of college football. And they're going to need it because they're going to go up against a guy by the name of Jamison Williams who is just an absolute unit out there. This guy is a tough man to stop one of the most dangerous guys to line up out wide if not the most dangerous guy to line up out wide in all college football cincinnati's gonna have a tall task to 
take care of him throughout this game. And I tell you what, it's going to come down to, can you get some pressure on this quarterback? Cincinnati's not really, they can bring some pressure, but I ain't going to say they got that notorious pass rusher, if you will, like you're going to see out of Alabama here. But can you get pressure on the quarterback? We just seen last week, Bryce Young, clean pocket. He picked Georgia apart. They gave him some time to throw that football, and he just picked him apart. There's also been games this season, though, where that offensive line struggled. But if there's ever a time you want your offensive line to be playing the best, it's coming out of a championship game. And I expect them once again to protect Bryce Young in this football game and allow him to work back there, allow him to find the open guy. The question is, what might be the ultimate question mark here for Bryce Young? No matchy. Torn ACL last game. You had a two-headed monster out there out wide. You had Williams, you had Mechie. And you just lost your other 1,000-yard receiver, which leaves you with now the next guy up who's had all of 330 yards this season. How much can that impact the play of Williams? How much can that impact the play of Rice Young? If you go out there and say, hey, Cincinnati, we're going to go out there and put sauce on him or we'll put Kobe on him and we're going to double this guy. And on the other side of the field, again, you put the ladder of the two, you put Kobe, you put sauce. He's more than capable one-on-one -on -one shutting that guy down the rest of the game. The question is, can they double cover Williamson and hold him down? All of a sudden, Alabama's got to figure things out. But again, it is a question. You got to remember how talented an Alabama team is. The next man up mentality, it's going to be there. They're going to play great. Just it's what a good program does. Going to do it. Call me crazy. Might be a little bit. Bama's going to lose this football game. This tough team to match up with in Cincinnati. Cincinnati's going to shock the world. 31-27 Bearcats. Hope you guys are thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.